Good morning everyone. My name is Munalisa Sarkar and I am a student of B.A. 3rd semester of Siliguri Tarai B.A. College. So students, today the lesson I am going to teach you is on a poem that is The Owl by Edward Thomas. The Owl by Edward Thomas. So before beginning with the poem, let me discuss about the objectives of the poem that is The Owl by Edward Edward Thomas. So, the first objective of the poem is about the homeless wanderer or a traveler that is the poet himself portraying the struggle, pain and suffering that he has to face during the late winter's night. The second objective is about to express the experience of the poet that he has to suffer during the late winter's night and also the exhilaration and the pain that he has to face during all the night. The third objective is about that the poet compares the pain of his and the melancholy cry of the owl who was same suffering like him in the winter's night. Okay students, now let's discuss about the poet of the poem who is the Edward Thomas? Who is the poet of this poem? Edward Thomas. So now let's know about the poet of this poem. Philip Edward Thomas was born in London in 1878. His first book was The Woodland Life and he wrote his first poem Up in the Wind. He enlisted in the army during the First World War and wrote more than 140 poems in the span of two years. His poems reflect love for the countryside and the experiences in the battle. So it was all about the poet of this poem. So students now let's discuss about the title of the poem. So what is the title of the poem? The Owl. And who is the owl? Owl is a bird or an animal that is, is to see in the, during the night time. In the tree of the branches or somewhere else you can mainly see the owl during the night time. So here in the poem the poet while wandering in the winter night met with the owl and described his melancholy cry compared to his own sufferings during the winter's night. And here in the poem the owl is referred to as alliteration. So what is alliteration? Alliteration is said that the word the owl is used as a melancholic word alliteration is used to compare the pain and sufferings same as the poet feels as compared to the owls okay so students now let's begin with the poem the owl so the owl by edward thomas what is the first stanza downhill i came hungry and yet not starved Cold yet had heat within me that was proof against the north wind, tired yet so that rest had seemed the sweetest thing under a roof. So, what the first stanza says? In the first stanza, the poet says, the poet begins with the poem by describing his own action that was he was traveling downhill and he was coming and he was not starved that time. So, afterward, he was tired and trembling and by dint of cold, but his spirit was really high. He was warm enough inside to protect him against the chilling north wind. So, after that, he was feeling very, very tired and badly in the rest of need. And it is needed the most as usually you know when we travel down, downhill in the late winter's night. So what happens? You feel very, very, very tired, very uh, heartless and uh, you need in the mainly need of shelter and food. So same as the poet, the poet also feels very, very and tired and also needed the rest most and also with the food and shelter. So what happened? The uh, poet was warm enough that time. But he was very, very and tired. In such hard times, nothing other than rest was needed the sweetest thing to him. So the most sweetest thing to him that time was the roof that he needed the most for the rest, food and shelter. So in the 
second stanza what it said then at the inn i had food fire and rest knowing how hungry cold and tired was i and owls cry a most melancholy cry so what it said in the second stanza it in second stanza the poet describes that he goes to a inn finally he gets a inn and he goes there and he took a shelter then he got food to satisfy him and uh, he satisfied his hunger fireplace to warm up and rest that he needed the most that time then here an interesting contrast is shown between the inside world of the inn and the outside world of the cold winter's night the what are the two contrasting things the first in the inside the inn the poet feels very comfortable with the fireplace with the warm with the rest with the food whereas contrast to the outside world where the uh, owl was suffering in the winter's night so this is the contrast between the inside world and the outside world then however there was one thing which penetrated the silence of the night that is the owl cry which is explicitly said to be melancholy and merry note so it is said that the cry of the owl is melancholy that the cry uh, of the owl which is very uh, sad and disappointing that time which is portraying his sadness and his uh, uh the sufferings in the winter's night and it was not a merry note it was not a happy note it was a sad note that time so it is all about the second stanza so students in the third stanza the poet says shaken out long and clear upon the hill no merry note nor cause of merriment but one telling the me being what i escaped and other could not that night was in i went so in the third stanza what the poet says that while the poet was reoccupating with the food warmth and rest he suddenly hears the owl's melancholy cry which was long and sad the plaintive cry of the owl reminded him of the suffering he had undergone when he was on the hills so he was fortunate and he thinks himself that he is very fortunate to escape from the suffering of the hill however there was many shoulders that i said it uh, it was said there that the uh, shoulders were there who were very suffering uh, and there was also poor who was also suffering there during the cold winter's night so he saw when he was suffering in the downhill he also saw many shoulders who were fighting in the bites of cold the poor was also included who had uncertainty on such a night to get food and shelter this shows that the poet conscience and humanity felt sorry who could not escape in this miserable condition in the fourth stanza what it said and salted was my food and my repose salted and sobered too by the bird's voice speaking for all those who lay under the stars soldiers and poor unable to rejoice so in the fourth stanza what it is said that the poet after overwhelmed by such penetrating thoughts that he found food and rest was less pleasing to him because he was still thinking about the poor and the soldiers and also the owl who was suffering in the late winter's night suddenly his food seems to be salted which signifies tears and he loses his interest and relaxation the bird voice turns the whole atmosphere into the bitter and sad as i said the owl was having a melancholy cry which signifies the pain and suffering that the boy bird was suffering so the bird voice was into uh, turned into a bitter and sad atmosphere the poet's hearts went out to the shoulders and poor who was deprived with the basic needs and unable to rejoice as compared to the poet who recently had the food and rest unlike the soldiers and the poor who could not rejoice with such a beautiful thing so he felt very sad and depressed by it so the birds cry speaks for all those who lays under the same stars and are unable to rejoice and it also signifies the beauty of life and also it compares 
that uh, the uh, two different things that first thing is that the uh, poet was having a very easy life inside the inn and compared to the outside world which was very much cold and bitter winter's night and the sufferings he could also feel from inside the inn so no matter how many people died in it it signifies comfort that life will go and will never uh, end and will still exist all the time okay students now let's get to know about the word meanings of the poem the owl by edward thomas the first word is merriment merriment means laughter fun and enjoyment the second word is repose repose so what do you mean by repose yes repose means the state of calm or comfortable rest so where the word repose is used where the poet gets into the inn and gets the food and shelter that he needed the most in the winter's night and the uh, food and shelter that he gets was reposed to him so the third word is sober what is sober sober means made one thing carefully about things so students these are the three word meanings that we get to know in the poem the owl by edward thomas so students to conclude the poem the owl by edward thomas is a melancholic poem symbolizes pain and suffering of the poet and others such as the soldiers poor and also the owl who was suffered in the cold winter night so let's just recall what we have learned in the poem first we get to learn that the poet was suffering in the cold winter's nights in the downhill and then he gets a place to rest in the inn where he also gets the food and shelter that he needed the most in that cold winter night and he also describes his sufferings and pains that he was undergoing in that situation okay the next after he goes to the inn he dis uh, listens to the melancholy cry of the owl which also describes the pain and sufferings of the owl also in the winter's night and then he also says that the soldiers and the poor who was also suffering in that night had uh, was uh, displaced by the uh, all the food and sh uh, shelter that the poet gets and he was rejoiced but that they were deprived of that situation so he also feels sorry for them that uh, he, they were also still suffering from that winter's night and the food he was taking in was also seemed very salted as he was very uh, depressed by the uh, uh, sufferings of the owl and the uh, soldiers and also the poor so there the poet's humanity shows that he feels very sorry for them and he could not also take the food and shelter nicely that he got till now okay so at the last he says that the melancholy cry of the owl also signifies the sick, uh, pain and sufferings that they were undergoing and compares two things the first thing the uh, inside the inn that the poet was having a rejoiced life with the food and shelter whereas contrast to the other outside world where the uh, others were suffering in the cold winter's night and he was feeling very sad and depressed for them so and the contrast is shown is of fulfillment and deprivation of the owl and the poet so at the end the poet escapes from the suffering and gets a place to be relaxed but he could even feel the sad and pain and deprivation of the army and the poor by and the by the melancholy cry of the owl which symbolizes their sufferings in the cold winter's night thank you